hello welcome to the channel today i will show you how to create a simple model here in freecad so first here we create a new file and we change to part design workbench create board and create a new sketch in xy plane okay and here we go to sketch geometry and select this rounded rectangle tool and draw this rectangle now select this equal constraint and make these two lines equal okay and now we select this smart constraint this icon and we select these two points of this rectangle symmetrical to the center point and now in this page you can see that the dimensions for this rectangle is we have 40 here we have a range of 15 for these for these arcs and we have four cycles here with a diameter of 10 so come back to this model and here first we select this tool and we constrain the range of these arcs to 15 and now we select this horizontal distance tool and you set the length of this line here to foot and now select the cycle tool and draw four cycles between these points okay and now we select all cycles and click in this icon smart constraint no equal constraint okay and now select this tool and change the diameter here to 10 yes change to 10 and now close the sketch press on and now go to model and select this sketch here go to pad tool and here we set a length of 8 click ok and now the next step is to create a new sketch for for this part here okay this so come back to this model and here we create a new sketch we will create the new sketch in in this plane x z plane okay here select this external geometry tool and extract this edge switch to section view and here we select this pole line tool and we draw the sketch click in this point now in this point and now click in this point so now select this arc tool and draw this arc between these two points okay and now we select this merge constraint and we constrain these two points to this vertical line okay and now let's see the dimension for this sketch so here in this drawing we see we see this height here okay and we see this diameter okay so we come back to this model and first we select this tool here we constrain the range of this this arc to 20 okay and now we select this vertical distance tool we click in this origin point and now in this center point and we set 103 okay and now we select these two points and make it horizontal constraint and now close the sketch press home and select this pad tool and here again we change this link to 8 and we check this option symmetric to plane and now we click ok so next we create a new sketch in x plane again select this plane and here we go to this tool select this tool and extra this edge here switch to section view and now select the cycle tool click in this center point and now in this end point okay so now the sketch is fully constrained close the sketch and go to go to this pad tool check these options similar to plane and here the length is the length here is 25 you can see here so change here to this dimension and click ok and next you create a new sketch in YZ plane. 
okay here we switch to section view click in this icon now go go to sketch drums and select this tool extract this edge here and now we select this pole line tool and we draw this sketch in this way okay now press some um, three times and draw this arc now what we have to do is to drag this center point okay oh you can delete this arc and select this arc tool and now connect these two points okay and select this tangent constraint and make this arc and this line tangent okay and now in this page you can see a range of 25 for this arc here okay and the length of this part here is 20 so here we'll say the horizontal distance of this line here will be 10 so we select this line and we change to 10 and now we constrain the range of this arc to 25 and okay close this sketch and go to pad tool I check this option smart to plane and change this length to 8 and click ok and next we select this operation here and go to mirrored future ok and here you can see this part and so click ok and next to create a wall in this face here you select this face and select this tool here so in this page we see a diameter of 25 so here we change we change this diameter to this dimension and here we set 40 and okay so okay guys this part is finished thank you for watching this video